R-V-B-N, The Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, professional wrestling video blogs, sports video blogs, MBTA video blogs, entertainment video blogs, and a whole lot more. Collection of my work going back to June of 2014 is on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media websites, RVBN, the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time is now 3.02 in the afternoon in Bellica, Massachusetts. Good morning, I mean good afternoon, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. This is Rich again, back for your first, I mean second, video blog of the day for Saturday. And it's about 51 degrees in Bellica, Massachusetts. A blend of sun and cloud clouds. Feels like a spring day. But this is going to be the warmest of the next seven days. Changes are coming. Nor'easter, Monday night and Tuesday. Mainly rain in eastern New England. Central New England. And part of New Hampshire. The Madnagnock region. Up to Concord, New Hampshire mix of rain and snow and in the Pioneer Valley upwards the Berkshires the Green Mountains the White Mountains and the mountains of of Maine significant snow I heard February the cold pattern probably get the snow blitz then some news to report on the RVBN news why do 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 uh, the uh, whoop, the North Carolina Tar Heels men's basketball team beat the Boston College men's basketball team by the score of 90 to 82 last um, this afternoon at the Heights. And an error I had was UMass Lowell Riverhawks beat Providence in hockey by a score of 4 to 3, but it was actually Providence who beat UMass Lowell by the score of 4 to 3. I got, I got it a little confused. I saw a couple of website reports that, um, Lowell won, but that, that's okay. And Claude Julian still has a job as coaches of Boston Bruins. There was no press conference today. Maybe, maybe they don't want to fire him just yet because they're still in the playoff picture. But sooner or later, Claude Julian's going to get the act. What are they waiting for, Boston Bruins? I bet Cam Neely and Don Sweeney are going to lose their jobs too. They should because of the mess that's caused on Causeway Street. And that's about it on news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my second video blog subject of the day. Get out. You're so sweet because they're cute. The more the merrier. Go find something to do. I know, I know, I know. I'm doing good. Time to move on, Rich. We least the whole. I got places to go. People to see. Things to do. Are you writing a book? This action will not be tolerated at BMHS. Great quotes only on RVBN. Time's now 3 or 5 in the afternoon. 2017 is going to be the year I re reunite with old friends of mine like BK, BA, DA, MW, and DB for one night only. I'm open to the idea. If they want to step up to the plate, they should. That's about it on, the new, on that. My second video blog subject of the day is about the former professional wrestling faction, the Mean Street Posse. The Mean Street Posse was in the WWE for approximately two years between 1999 and 2001. They were kind of like a comedy f um, wrestlers that had an association with Shane McMahon. Background on Mean Street Posse. The vignette started of, of these four guys, Rodney, Pete Gass, Willie Green and Billy P that was played in the winter of 1999 before WrestleMania 15 when Shane McMahon won the European Championship. They, all of these four guys went to high school with Shane McMahon in Greenwich, Connecticut. They originally were going to be called the Greenwich Posse, but they got changed to Mean Street Posse because Greenwich was in Connecticut and for a national wrestling promotion the WWE was, Greenwich kind of sound too regional. And Welly Green and Belly P were immediately dropped 
from the Mean Street Posse after a few vignettes, and both of the of them were were real life actors. While Rodney and Pete Gass were real life friends of Shane McMahon, they even went to high school to school together. The Mean Street Posse showed up at WrestleMania 13 and helped Shane McMahon beat up on X Park to in the European title match. It was Joey and no, it was Pete Gass and Rodney. They came to the ring wearing like sweater vest and dress pants and their wrestling attire. Soon they aligned themselves with Shane McMahon and the corporation and Mr. McMahon and the Mean Street Posse feuded with Joe Briscoe and and Pat Patterson, they had one of the most memorable matches on Raw during the Attitude Era. That was on May 10th, 1999. The Mean Street Posse got their ass whipped by Briscoe and Patterson. And that match was the highest rated segment in the history of Monday Night Raw up to that point. Which was surpassed a few months later by the... By the... This is your life rock. The Mean Street Posse were known. They also wrestled a few other times in like preliminary matches. And they wore like the sweater vest. And they actually shoes. And that was kind of a little bit of dangerous. Plus, the Mean Street Posse were known as a little bit of stiff workers. Even though both of them weren't really prof wrestlers. Later on, the Mean Street Posse had a third member, Joey Abs, who was actually a wrestler in WWE Developmental Territory. And he was a legitimate wrestler who wrestled five years prior and a few other independent organizations. And Joey Abs kind of had a low potential. And the Mean Street Posse was like a three-man faction. And they, um, Joey Abs and Storyline one time dated Stephanie McMahon. But... That they, that was not real, really true in life in that in real life because Joey Abs did not know um, Shane or Rodney and Pete Gas at all. They probably met when Joey Abs came to the WWE and the Bean Street Posse and Joey Abs wrestled the head bangers and a couple of other preliminary wrestlers, but they were mainly stooges to Shane McMahon. They tried to interfere in Sh Shane McMahon's match against Test at SummerSlam 1999. Eventually, Shane went face and the Mean Street Posse uh, feuded with Shane McMahon and, it was, and they had some great matches. Shane did some big bumps on the Mean Street Posse. Eventually, the Mean Street Posse became comedy wrestlers known for being involved and in trying to get into the Royal Rumble in 2000, even though they weren't registered participants. Also, they had a few other segments when the Radical Rules, Chris Benoit and Perry Saturn and Eddie Guerrero and Dean Malenko came to the WWE from WCW and the Mean Street Posse says, did you hear anything good stuff about us in WCW? <laughs> oh my God. And the Radicals beat them up. But also the Mean Street Posse, Joey Abs and Rodney and Pete Gass were involved in that hardcore division. 24-7 um, with Cratch Harley. All three of them at one point got the hardcore title, but they were short-lived champions because Cratch would beat them up. This is when the 24-7 rule was in effect for that title, which was one of the highlights of the Attitude Era, in my humble opinion. I did a video blog on that several months back, so you could check it out. Eventually, the Mean Street Posse left the WWE, and all three of them went to um, Memphis Championship Wrestling, a developmental territory for WWE, and, and, the, and the Mean Street Posse had some success at MCW, they won several hardcore MCW tag team titles and then hardcore titles and even Southern tag team titles. But in 2001, both all three of them, Rodney, Pete Gass, and Joey Abs, were released from WWE contract at when WWE severed their relationships with Memphis Championship Wrestling. And I think, I think, um, 
Rodney and Pete Gass retired soon afterwards. Joey Abs continued wrestling independent for a little, um, little while, but he eventually got out of the wrestling business because he could not find any steady work. This is when um, WCW was bought out by WWE. In 2007, um, Rodney made an appearance at the 15-year Raw Anniversary Battle Royal. In 2009, WWE.com did Where Are They Now for the Mean Street Posse. Rodney, Pete Gass, and Joey Abs uh, now have real jobs. Joey Abs works for his family auto parts business. Rodney works for WB Nason as like an ex executive clerk. And Pete Gass works in the family business as well. And Mean Street Posse was, you know, a f comedy tag team, which was so funny and stuff. They weren't going to be serious ta um, wrestlers in WWE. They weren't going to be WWE tag team champions. But, yeah, I enjoyed the Mean Street Posse. That's about it on that. I'll be back later. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. My third and final video blog on that, which will be about Xfinity On Demand on Comcast. Keep calm, everybody. I'm Julie Budding. I'm Holly Wells Blood. WCC Oaxon has nice likes. Elizabeth Hot, so, so stunning. She's best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome. Amy Linda Church of WPI. I love New York's. Such a walking cougars. Got the best legs in New York City. Bond. Bond on. Bobby Gives of ABC 11 has a sweet southern accent. And Wayne Claire of WHGH Channel 7 Boston is cute. And she's got the best legs in Boston. And have a good day. Bye now.